We are live. Um, Peter is, and I kind of sad. are uh, going to play chess and borders, but I was actually looking around at the uh, storefronts, now vacant, uh, and it's pretty sad, as Peter and I were just saying, yeah. that uh, Old Navy, which used to be over there, uh, they moved to the mall, so now that lot is vacant. Circuit City used to be over there, and now they're bankrupt, so uh, they shut that down. Then there was like a, w w was that a linen and things or something? Yes, it was a linen thing. And that was a linen and things, they went bankrupt too. The sign is still there. Yep, the sign is still there. So, uh, out of four former thriving businesses, we still have one business left. And uh, let's see how we can do, how Borders Books and Music can do. Uh, Thank you. Um, by itself, on its own, on an island. Now it, it received some help recently with with the closure of the neighboring Barnes and Noble. Yeah. So there was a Barnes and Noble competing directly against it, just uh, maybe 400 meters away. But they moved to the mall, and uh, maybe many customers will now congregate at the mall instead of congregating here, since the only thing here <laughs> in this lot in New Jersey is a Borders. And people don't need to go here anymore, they can just go to the mall. Yeah. So I don't know if the closure will Yeah, we are going to Borders because there's a Seattle's Best here and not a Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, here we are from and New Jersey. An and it's not an issue of ideology, it's just an issue of taste. Yes, it is an issue of taste. And we've got taste. So, um, thank you. This is uh, live from Livingston, New Jersey, the suburbs, hit it's... by the financial tsunami.